What's going on, everybody? Anubis Game Archer here with a brand new video for you guys today. Anubis TJ over on Twitch. Link it below if you want to, if you're interested in seeing me play some games live on Twitch. Today, we're going to be putting the finals on the scales of judgment. You know, is the new FPS game that everyone's talking about worth your time? Is it a bad game living off being trendy with big FPS streamers? Or is it actually as good as advertised? So starters, this is a review in progress, as in this game is, you know, still in its early stages. It just came out. It's not technically early access, but you definitely get the feeling that this is a game that has a lot to live up to. So, you know, whatever score I give it, it might be that right now. But in three months, it could be worse. Three months, it can be, it can be, it, it can be better. Who knows? You, know, you might watch this game, watch the video a year from now, and you might feel like a lot of the things that I say is very different in 2024 than what it is when I said in this video. So just keep that in mind. But I've been playing the finals for a while as I've played it since, you know, the closed alpha and, you know, all of its closed and open betas. So I do have a bit of experience with this game more so than a lot of other people. This is one of those games where you need to learn it and adapt to it. You can't just jump into this game and just do whatever you, you, you want. You can't just be like, it's not, it's not a pick up and play game like, say, Call of Duty. Its skill curve is not insanely high, but it is high enough to where you will see those big gaps if someone's just decent at playing the game the way it's meant to be played versus someone who is, is just a twitch shooter you come into this game trying to play this like like it's call of duty you will get frustrated you will get annoyed and you will dislike it because it's not the kind of game you're used to the finals is a heavy team focused game and it gets pretty competitive this is not a casual game even when it comes with casual modes but what is the finals the finals is a free to play 3v3v3 and 3v3v3v3 First person shooter. Saying that fast is is, is kind of hard. You know, like it's just it's two there's there's two modes with two types of three threes. There's three threes when it comes to just three teams of three, and three threes when it's it's four teams of three. Um, this game is, is made by former de Battlefield developers, some people who work in for Dice. They formed their own studio called Embark Studios. You can see the Battlefield DNA with some of the movement, gunplay, and the obvious destruction. The goal is to get more money than the opposing team in a game show style competition. You can actually kind of look at it as, as like kind of a more fast paced action heavy extraction shooter. Like you're not doing like all the other things that you do in an extraction shooter, but like the goal here is to extract money in order for you to win. You play as three types of characters at, at the time of this video, heavy, medium, and light. 100% health separates these three classes as well as what they can bring on, on the field. Heavies have 350 health, medium has 250 health, and light has 150 health. Much like how Battlefield used to have class specific loadouts, this game does as well. Light has access to SMGs, vanishing bombs that turn you invisible, and throw on knives as well as the sniper rifle. Medium has uh, um, assault rifles and healing utilities. Heavies have light machine guns, RPGs, and a flamethrower. This game has a very fun gameplay loop, though some people do have complaints about the controls. There is so much you have access to in games where you, you can't get to certain items as quickly as you might want. So you can't tap a button and use your grenades. You gotta, you know, scroll to your grenades if you're playing with controller and also keyboard your number of keys so for you it will be, will be a one button press the gameplay has a high time to kill so obviously if you are someone who don't like high time to kill you know games you will dislike this game you might not like it at all this is a game that wants you to team fire so that the ttk being high is because of that this game wants you to work as a team they want you to get into gunfights as a team and do a lot of cross firing and team fire in general you want to stay around your team because if you don't You'll run into teams who will turn, who, who will team fire on you, and you'll be getting frustrated. Like, oh my god, I died so fast, and but yeah, it takes you forever to kill people. It's like because you're fighting against an entire team by yourself. This is not Call of Duty where you can, you know, take out three people with one magazine. That ain't happening. You can get into one v ones now. Like, don't get it wrong. You can get to one v ones, and and if you're good enough, or if you, you know, you work against your your favorite with your movement, you will win those one v ones. But if you if you get caught out of out of position, or you know, you will die. I mean, a lot of one v ones will be that as well. A lot of one v ones be you catching people who are rotating around or out of position, people who are kind of lone wolfing it. You will get jacked up in, in this game if you're not with, with your team. If I had to point out what I think is the game's biggest flaw, it's not even the game itself. It's the usual you would deal with in a modern shooter: the players. As I said. This is a team game. If you're a solo player, you will get games with the headless chickens who just running around playing for kills and then quitting because they're dying a lot. It's, this game does have a high, a high quitting problem because there are so many solo players who honestly just have weak mentals. And not only that, the punishment for quitting games is just you lose XP. So it's not a, a big harsh punishment. It's not like, oh, I can't play for freaking, you know, 30 minutes. Or I can't play for an hour. I can't play for however long. 
it's just oh i lost my xp fuck it i'll quit so there's a lot of people who are quit quitting in this game and again if you're someone who's into like sniping for example this isn't a game where you're gonna be getting like some one tap quit scopes a lot of your snipes are going to be like you get killing people who are low on health you know maybe like people who, who can't land their shots so you like you know, you're using movement to, to to get your your snipe your snipes off you won't be doing a lot, a lot of quit scoping in this game and people don't die in one shot unless you get a headshot on, on, on lights so if you're like at long distance you're, you might get a headshot if it's a medium or heavy you you just waste your time you want to be on the move and so sniping is, is only good at enhancing people who are good at sni being, being aggressive sniper now that isn't to say the game doesn't have flaws when i say that the biggest flaw is players it does have flaws there's such things as a, as a as a flawless game or a perfect game when it comes to you know not having any kind of like technical issues what i mean by it when i say that you know the biggest flaws of players is there isn't any massive technical issue with this game where it's like this right here will keep you playing the games right here will make you want to not play it you know there is lag every game has lag there is hit rate issues that they admit it to and that they're working on but the hit rate issues in my opinion are rare um there's some deep seeking you will you will have you will have situations where you you disengage from combat but still take damage because on the other person's screen your character model is still in frame um but this is overall a very fun game that's different from the norm it's also a game that caters to rushers. Campers need not download because you will never win if you are someone who's just trying to stay, you know, stationary. If you're not trying to be on the move or play the objectives, this game is nothing but objectives. There, are, there is no TDM modes. It's just objectives. So if you're not moving and playing objectives, you won't win. You know, and again, like I said, this isn't a game where you're going to get one taps on, on, snipe, on sniping kills. So it's not like you can be sitting here and, and getting like some nice ass snipe clips and then, you know, that's it. Like, no, this is a game that's, that does not cater at all to people who are stationary. I think as a foundation for a new IP, Embark has created something nice. And I'm, I'm curious where the finals will go from here, because like I said, there's not a lot here when it comes to game modes. What new game modes will they come up with? Maybe some 2v2 modes, maybe some 1v1 modes, maybe even some TDM or other objective styles. There is a content limitation with this game right now, but you kind of give it an excuse that it's new and it, it was a game that was stealth drop. So you kind of feel like, okay, this might just be an early access game that doesn't even have to tag early access on it. It's a live service free to play games so there's definitely like some potential for there to be some more added at a later date but not as much here at launch which is also why my score for this game won't be you know insanely high now i do recommend this game to anyone who, who loves fps games if you're fps gamers that like gameplay and, and, and destructive and like if, you, if you're an fps player that likes team play and team gameplay and team gunplay you like a destructive environments if you're into class limited um weapon, weapon styles you will enjoy this game if you're a solo player you you can enjoy it too but just know what you're getting yourself into you know you are going to want to play with your with friends if you don't have any friends it's time to make some friends like it's just that simple because this game if you play solo which i played a lot of solo because my friends had to work schedules for me some of my games i played my buddy potato so i played my utx boys but um some games i do i do play solo. a lot of games actually i play solo and there are moments where I get frustrated because of, you know, what people are doing. That's not really the way that the game is designed for them to be playing it. And you will go through the frustrations too. So make some friends or just deal with the consequences of being a solo player. But I have to give the, the finals uh, a score. As of right now, I say the game is an 8 out of 10. Again, in three or four months, there might be updates at the updates that made this game worse or better. Who knows? But I do think as of right now, it is an 8 out of 10 gaming experience. So with all of that said, that's it for this review. But I um, hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a good good day and do all things algorithm blanks. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'll be boy, a newest game marker. I'm out of here. Deuces.